Hey guys, I just wanted to come on really quickly, talk a little bit about wishful thinking. When you hear the little voice inside of you, your little ego, your little protector, that's trying to stop you from being disappointed because they it thinks that somehow you're doing all this work and nothing's gonna happen because you're not seeing any proof of it and you don't wanna waste your time and you don't wanna waste any more of your life. All of those little negative thoughts that mean nothing and you should pay them no mind and shut them down and ignore them completely. Make everything in your reality that you are seeing be proof that your manifestation is working. I don't care how silly it seems, the littlest things. This is, I've manifested little things, big things for, I don't know, since 2006 doing this, right? And it works. It just constantly keeps you in the state of flow and it constantly keeps your energy and your awareness and your attention on thinking about whatever your desired end is in a positive state that it's already happened or that you know for a fact it's going to happen and and you can manifest either way or both ways you can be thinking all along i know this is going to happen or this has happened it doesn't matter i've manifested plenty of things either way is living in the end when you're in the state of having you can be in the state of having something, of feeling the abundance of it, feeling the richness of it, feeling the passion of it, the love of it, knowing that it's going to happen. Like you can feel really excited and good knowing you're about to be on vacation. You can be at work with a pile of work in front of you with the stress of your boss hanging over you, knowing in a few days you're going to be on vacation and you can be living in the end in the state of having and being on that vacation and feeling it and feeling it real without having left it for vacation but anyway so wishful thinking every single thing every song that you hear every car that you see every number that you see i don't care if they seem like silly signs and i don't care if other law of assumption coaches say signs mean nothing who cares make everything mean something and make it all mean that you are getting everything that you desire and everything that you want and everything is always working in your favor it keeps you excited it keeps life feeling magical by the way especially when you notice that things are materializing in your reality that are in alignment with whatever it is that you want to me that is just proving you that your subconscious mind is getting impressed and things in your reality are starting to solidify Okay, so call it birds before land, call it whatever you want. I remember I was in my retail store. This was a few years in at this point. I was making real money and the business was really successful. This, this guy was standing in front of me in my store and we were talking about manifesting because that was a topic that I always talked about with people because I felt impassioned by it. And I used to, like I said, I used to even coach people I used to coach my customers. I used to have people come in just for little mini sessions without even being my customers, just because they always loved coming by and we would sit down and have a quick little meeting and they would leave feeling like, damn, like I got this. He stood there in front of me and he's just drilling me with questions. You could tell, I could tell he's just, okay, this guy, he's just totally, he's, he's not a believer. He's a little negative Nelly. He made this statement and he said, well, what, what, what made you so bold? What made you so bold to believe? Cause to me, it's just like wishful thinking. And I said, yeah, but think about what you just said. You are literally standing inside what was once just a thought, what was once just a wish that materialized out of nothing. I didn't have any money to invest in the business when I first started it. I had zero experience. I never went to one class in relationship to the field. Nothing gave me any reason why I should have been successful except for the sheer will, determination, and unwavering faith that no matter what, this business was going to take off and was going to be a huge success. And over the years, as I continue to manifest and continue to grow and at a really amazing kind of pace, I always stayed incredibly humble through it because I knew that this is just 
This is just how the universe is unfolding through me. This technically is God's business and I'm just the channel. You know, God wants this to be in existence and, and, and God Universe Source is inspiring me with all of these ideas. It's literally giving me all of the resources that I need. I had people years later that I met who, you know, everybody's coming to me wanting me to, you know, somehow work with them or network with me and stuff. And I always was such an introvert. I just wanted to be left alone. <laughs> I just wanted to do my thing, make my customers happy, bring something amazing into the world, make money. I'm in a parking lot. Somebody's looking at me. Um, and then go home and just be happy, you know, behind closed doors in my own little bubble. And so as I'm meeting these people and they're asking me, so how did you get started with the business? And when I told them, yeah, I was just like meditating and had this idea and I wanted to prove that the law of attraction was a thing because back then it was, I knew it as law of attraction, but now looking back, I realize it was actually law of assumption. Um, as soon as I started, right in the first few months of being in business and you know, within the first year, I had resources that literally just came my way. Things just opened up for me. I had like the resources, I had the right people, I had the right everything that it normally takes people years to get and I never networked. Anytime I was invited to join any kind of membership business related networking things or go to any meetings to meet people, these mixers, things like that I always first of all I just I was just like no way like I, I want nothing to do with any of that like that was just like a nightmare the idea of doing that I'm an introvert I don't want I don't want to go meeting people I don't know and I don't want to be talking to people small talk like that is just like ooh, that's not not me and that's not what I want it all just unfolded for me and at a and at a speed that seemed unreal to other people because I had unwavering faith and I trusted and I stayed super laser focused. Okay, so somebody must need to hear this. I love you if it's you. So have those wishful thoughts. Be a wishful thinker and trust in it because your life will change and everything that you want is going to unfold for you. Okay, I love you. Bye. Nothing can come between us.